Before I start this epic video, I want to announce in the description below is the link to the meetup. If you want to come to the Chicago Clash meetup, make sure you're there. You're going to see me, Nick, uh, White Lightning, and t -Bot Gaming. I'll see you guys soon. Let's start. What's going on, Spartans? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you some stupid, reckless losses on defense. Now, this is two different defenses that are going to be shown here. Um, I'm going to show you completely two different ones. It's ridiculous, guys. I can't believe I'm being shown for this many freaking trophies. It's really making me angry. I don't know what I can do, honestly. Um, it, it's it's nothing I can really do to fix this. It's just me being shown on the leaderboard so high up. And I've lost about 60 trophies. It's like 57 trophies or whatever. In the last 24 hours alone, just from stupid defenses that were just really well done. And there's nothing I can do about it. The reason I can't do anything about this is because even if they had gotten one star, they would have seen 14 or 18 trophies for that one star. Just for that Town Hall Sniper, whatever it was. Um, they would have got an insane number of trophies either way. But the biggest problem, guys, is that you cannot possibly change your search algorithm for how you get found. So, people are finding me extremely quickly that are way below my trophy level. And this is very unfortunate. If I keep sustaining losses like this, I will not be able to keep pushing. Because, guys, I'll be honest, I don't want to spend 6 to 12 hours a day playing this game. It's just not worth it to me. So, I do about a 6-hour session nowadays pretty much every other day. Sometimes I do 8 or 10 hours um, every other day, but I just can't do it every day. So, do I play every day? Yes, I play for like an hour or two every day, no matter what. But then there's days where I play a full 6-hour session plus that 2 hours. Um, and the reason being is I do run my own company for advertising, and I cannot spend that much time playing. But, I will do my best to continue pushing. And of course, as you can see here, losing 57 trophies in a day, 24 hours... In Titans League is a complete disaster. A reason being is you can't even win that many trophies most of the time in Titans League. I spent six hours yesterday and I found what was it like? I found one base worth 26 trophies and the rest were I had like four tunnel snipes. So I got like four or five trophies from tunnel snipes and then I found one base worth like 26 trophies and I actually lost. So I got minus 19 from that. And that was just a really poorly done attack really late at night like 3 34 in the morning and I was just super tired and I wasn't focused and that's what happens guys you play for too long you end up playing late into the night after working all day and you make a mistake and you lose 19 trophies or you know sometimes even negative 39 but that's uh it happens but very infrequently now the main thing that's really freaking me messing me up is this <laughs> minus 26 on defense like come on for 55 percent I got minus 26 like that's absurd I wish I could find an attack like that. That would be great. Give me an attack for 40 to 50 trophies. That would be phenomenal. But I haven't seen one in weeks, and it's really annoying. I did see one actually a week ago, and unfortunately, I didn't have my full force, and I, I smacked myself for it all the time. Like, I can't believe I was looking for a tunnel snipe, and a 53 trophy base showed up. It was one of the top people in the world, like one of the top like 10 or 20 or something like that. And he was showing 53 trophies, and I had, like, just my heroes and a few wizards, and I could not believe it. And I was super angry, but obviously I did not attack because there's no way I was going to win. So, that's unfortunate, but guys, as you can see, even against this base, which was a super good base, both these bases are really epic bases, guys. There's really nothing you can do to actually stop a perfect attack on them. Like, if you're going to win a 2-star, you're going to win a 2-star. Now, what they do stop is a 3-star, and most of the time, people can't even 2-star either of these bases because they're very well made. However, these two guys got really lucky finding me for high amounts of trophies, and they planned their attacks very well. And as you can see, he's about to get the second star here in a second, and that's allowing him. He got real lucky as King went and did that. That jump spell was not covering that wall, so that's kind of BS. But that's okay. He's going to get that two star, and it was really lucky, as you can see, as King was about to die. And honestly, he shouldn't have been able to jump over that wall with that jump spell. But... 54% once again about 55% and he's going to get a two star But what's insane is how many trophies he gets for this now I don't know why he's actually taking out these extra buildings maybe injured insult Maybe just practice on you know finding out how far these towers shoot uh, But honestly, I'm gonna speed it up here because it's kind of boring and no one needs to see all that boring stuff 56% how much more can he really get 58? He'll probably get like 60. He's got a lot of troops uh, yeah, 60% there it is. Okay, 
So we get 31 trophies, guys, for two freaking stars. And that is unreal. So good attack, but definitely not worth 31 trophies against me. And this is why I'm struggling on this push, guys. I just don't have the time right now. Hopefully you're enjoying these videos, though. Um, I don't know if I'm going to continue to push much higher or if I'm just going to go ahead and drop off. But we shall see you really soon. Thanks, guys. Peace.